So this is a very special episode, all right. So Hilti actually contacted me and asked me if I could review this tool for them and, the, and if I wanted to, they would send it to me. So they actually sent it to me and I have the pleasure on reviewing this tool. Now I did not buy this, Hilti sent this to me. This is a full kit. I'll put the price for the kit right now uh, and tool only. And so, yeah, so let's unbox this really quick and see on how this tool is like when it comes to the full kit. And yeah, I'm excited about this one. So this is gonna be good, so please stick around. So like, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of 12 volt tools. My, my favorite tool that I own is this one. It's the Hilti SFD2A12. It is a screwdriver with a quarter inch collet. And so, yeah, so this is my, this is my go-to drill. I love 12 volt tools, 12 volt tools, are awesome. So let's unbox this and see what this is like. So already, so I got two four amp hour batteries with this. The batteries are not charged, they, they are dead. They will need to be charged. Sorry, this is take two of unboxing this because I forgot to push the record button. So they're all already unpackaged. Both batteries are dead, so they will need to be charged. Now, when it comes to the the Hilti charger that they sent me, unfortunately, they actually sent me the wrong charger. I do not mean to be rude, but I have to say it how it is. This is a 22 volt charger and they sent me 12 volt battery. So luckily I have an adapter because as you can see, this does not go, this does not fit in any way. No way. All right, so luckily, like I said, I have an adapter, which is this. This is model number CAB12. And what this is, this allows you to charge 12 volt batteries on a 22 volt charger. And so this way you only have to have one charger instead of a 22 volt and 12 volt. So all you do is slide this on there, slide that on there, and that's how you charge the battery. So luckily I had this already. I'm sorry Hilti, but you actually sent me the wrong charger. You sent me a 22 volt charger. Let's actually put this on charge. So as you see, the same charger I got right there. All you do is slide this in. And now it is charging the, the 12 amp hour. It's displayed on this one, so it's good. So once this is four bars, that's four bars. It's awesome. I, I love that adapter because it, it does beat having two separate chargers. So I have two batteries that are ready to go, two four amp hours. And I'm just going to let these ones charge while we go, go through the tool test and see how these do. I, I do love Hilti's, ba uh, Hilti's bags. They're very, very solid. Now what this is, it's a, this is a cordless drill driver with a multi-head. So we'll explore through this and see how this actually is. And of course, you got instructions and warranty. And Hilti's warranty is 20 years, which is insane which is awesome. All right, but this is the this is the tool itself. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much the same as the SFD2A12. This is the SFE2812 and the, this is the SFD2A12. And so, yeah, so it has, this is metal inside. Of course, that's metal. And what this is, is these are locks that you could actually have the uh, certain bits at a certain angle so it doesn't have to be going left, right, or up and down. You have it whatever angle you want. And that's what, uh, I'm pretty sure that's for all multi-job multi, multi job drills. Dude, so yeah, it's awesome. All right, so this is two speed settings. On speed one, it is zero to 400 RPM, and on speed two, it is zero to 1600 RPM. I do not know what the torque is. I'll put the torque in right now. And so yeah, this thing is uh, this thing's awesome. It has a 15 point clutch, Plus one, which with the plus one is drill. And yeah, let's have a uh, have a hear of the sound. Two LED lights beaming upward on the base at speed two, speed one. All right, but let's uh, let's put the uh, the heads on. Let's see how this is. All right, this is the half inch metal chuck, which I was, I'm was i seriously excited that it's a half inch metal chuck because for some reason I thought it would be a 3 8 inch chuck, but it's actually a metal chuck. And then just like a collet, what you do is you pull that in, 
And there you go. Which that's awesome. Just to show you guys, it's a half inch. Bingo. Which that's a major upgrade since they did the the brushless drill, uh, hammer drill, because that's a three eighths inch chuck and this one's a half inch chuck. So it's much better, much better. And it's a fully metal chuck, fully metal chuck. So that is what the half inch chuck looks like. Comes off that easily. This is what the quarter inch hex collet looks like. And you just put any, is it push in? Nope, the collet is not pushing. You have to adjust it to put it in. And then there you go. All right, so let's continue with the eccentric. I might've said that wrong, I'm sorry. The eccentric adapter with a, mag, a magnet quarter inch hex. Yep, strong magnet, strong magnet too. There you go. Now, what, like I said, what you use this for, because as you can see, and let's actually put it towards the, there we go. So as you can see, if you're close to an object right here and the drill body will get in the way, you're able to do that one, that, that screw is very close to an edge without the drill or battery being in the way. So I, I love that attachment. The fourth head attachment is the right angle attachment the right angle attachment now what this one is this is an adapter for the hex in the chuck so all you do is put that on there then there you go let's put the half inch metal chuck in And there you go. So uh, this thing's awesome. I love this thing. I just want to see how powerful this is in the situations that you would normally use this in. And so, yeah, I think this is going to be a good one. You could actually put a regular quarter inch hex bit on there and use it like that. See, it's just by a magnet inside. There you go. Alrighty, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, I just gotta cut this off really quick to get off the access. Cut this off. That should be good enough for this test. Alrighty, so what I wanna do with this first, I just wanna try out the half inch metal chuck. We are gonna see if, we're gonna test out what the limits to this are and then we are going to try it out on the right angle attachment with the metal chuck on. And we're going to see if, the, if it's able to do the same task. I want to know if this loses power using another attachment. So let's try it out. Battery is full. We're going to use speed 2 at first. Let's see what it can do. We'll do... We'll try out a 9 16 first. Yep, for this one, you actually can twist it all the way and click it one back to lock it in place. All right, so we have a 9 16 We're gonna do one hole. Ready, go. Time. So let's jump it up to a one and one eighth really quick. Right, we're going to do speed one. All right, so ready, go. It's through. There we go. I hear all drills do that. It took uh, 22 volt, 18 volt, 20 volt, 12 volts. All drills do that once in a while. All right, last, let's try the one and a quarter inch spade bit. Let's see what this can do. 
All right, so ready? Go. Time. All righty. So now it's able to do one and a quarter inch. So now let's. So now let's put the right angle on. And then the chuck on, just like that. Now I'm going to just go down, and let's see what this can do. Remember, my, my only goal is to see if we lose power using this uh, attachment. Let's see if we lose power. All right, so ready? Go. Go. You do. I, I do not know what the time is, but it, it did it. It did it with the, with the attachment. Let's do it like this. Let's see if I can do it like this. Just like this. All right, so ready? Go. One hand. It bled through the other the other hole. See, it gets caught like all these drills get caught on this stuff on the bottom. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, see this stuff. This stuff it catches on a lot of this, and then it, it just it seizes. So yeah, so you do not lose power using this angle. That's that's awesome. So like if you so if you're working on a project like this. Let's do that actually. Let's do uh, seven eighths. Let's do seven eighths at an angle. All right, so ready? Go. There you go, all the way through. Very good. So far, it is impressing me. Like, you, you do not lose power if you use an attachment, an extended attachment. That's awesome. All right, so next, let's uh, jump over. Let's jump over to some screws and see how well this collet is. We will be using Hilti nut setter bits. This thing's awesome. It's an extremely good multi-tool so far. Extremely good multi-tool so far. Oh, good. Mike's working. Alrighty, so let's check out. Let's check out a Spax, a six-inch Spax. Like I said, the it is disappointing that the collet is not pushing, you have to adjust it. That is disappointing. All right, right here is good. All right, so it's on speed. Let's see what it can do on speed two. All right, so ready, go. All right, that's as far as it goes on speed two. Let's continue, finish it on speed one. All the way through. All right, let's take it out. Ready? Let's see if we can take it on two. Nope, speed one is required. Time. All right, whip out my, my Hilti Pro Kit. Like I said in a pre like in previous videos, Hilti makes this uh, collet for a bit holder, and I seriously love this thing. All you got to do is slide the short bit in like that, and now it's locked in place with a magnet and ball bearings. Bingo. Let's try a six inch by a quarter inch lag. I think it's this is a quarter inch or, or an eighth inch lag. All right, so see what it can do on speed two. 
All right, so ready? Got to play a balancing act with this screw. Ready? Go. As far as going on speed two, so it failed that test to so go to speed one. No problem. No problem at all. All right, so let's take it out. Ready? See if we can do it on speed two. Nope. It moved it, but not going to try anymore. Speed one. Oop, my bad. I let it. I let it go. Continue. All righty, so we're going to do the same thing. Let's see if you lose power. We're going to do the time, the time comparison. Let's see if you lose power using the, the right angled adapter. There we go. We're just going to do speed one. Ready? Go. Time. It did it. I do not know what the time is for the uh, one without the adapter, but that's the time difference between those. And let's do the time difference between this now. Do it right here because I need the space. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It did it. It did it. All right, let's take it out. Ready? Go. That's awesome. That is awesome. So let's take out this screw. All right, so ready? Go. One hand, too. One-handed, too. That is awesome. This tool rocks. I love this tool. Let's do a temperature reading really quick. Up. Oh. 116 degrees. Got it up to 116 degrees so far. Let's have a look at this one. Well, let's test out really quick on the power of this. Speed one. Ready, go. Time. It did it. It did it. Now, normally, like I said in previous videos, what I'm testing right now, you normally you don't use 12 volt tools for. I put these tools through the extreme test to where it gets up to 117 degrees just by doing a couple of screws. You normally don't use 12 volt tools for this type of stuff, but by me doing this, this shows you that it's able to do more than what you expect it to do. All right, so let's take it out. Time. What I want to do is I want to show you guys how close you can get to the edge of something with an adapter like this. And so this is, this is not about power. This is about being able to get a screw closer to a corner with, with or without this. All right, so we're, we're gonna do this first. Do it up here. No problem, go up there. All right, so let's do it. All right, time, did that go? Yep, that went all the way through. All right, then we're gonna do an inch below it on how close I can get with the drill. With it going straight. All right, so as you can see, the drill is flush. The drill is flush with the wall. All right, so the top one is with the with the special adapter and the bottom one is with a regular uh, half inch metal chuck 
All right, so as you can see, there's a huge difference on how close you can get to something, to a corner. So that, that, that is a huge difference when it comes to doing certain tasks. So that adapter, that adapter is awesome. What a huge difference. All right, so as you can see, this little guy is awesome. Now it's a nice little tool to have. 12 volt system, half inch metal chuck, right angle attachment for multiple, for multiple heads. And you also got eccentric adapter. Now this thing is awesome. This will help you out in many situations, especially if you're close to a corner without damaging the, the working area or damaging your tool from try or put the screw in at an angle. This will majorly help you put screws in straight in a corner in a tight spot. So that's actually awesome. So, and so, yeah, so it's very easy to put on. So yeah, it's very easy to put on just like that. And yeah, I, the versus videos will be coming up because I do want to see what the difference in the power when it comes to the SFD 2A12, the SFE 2A12, and also the SF 2H A12. So I have versus, I want to, I want to see the difference between these because the three of these are almost the same besides, you know, this one has a chuck with a hammer feature. The motor themselves is pretty much the same. So I actually, I want to see what the, differences between the power of these three. So I'll put this in the link in the, in the description below. All right, so one more time, this is model number SFE2A12. The final battery life is three bars. So that's pretty much it. If you like this episode, please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. <music>